Hi friends, welcome to Storytime on the Back Porch. I'm Lisa, and as always with my furry friends, this is Lucy, and this is Lila. I have a question for you. Do you have an imaginary friend? Mm. My son, Nick, had an imaginary friend when he was a little boy. His name was Pico. Well, today's story is a little different twist on having an imaginary friend. It's called The Adventures of Beakle. The Unimaginary Friend by Dan Santat. Let's find out what's different about this story. Are you ready to listen, Lila? Let's have a look. He was born on an island far away where imaginary friends were created. Here they lived and played, each eagerly waiting to be imagined by a real child. Every night, he stood under the stars, hoping for his turn to be picked by a child and given a special name. He waited for many nights. But his turn never came. His mind filled with thoughts of all the amazing things that were keeping his friends from imagining him. So rather than waiting, He did the unimaginable. He sailed through unknown waters and faced many scary things. But thinking about his friend gave him the courage to journey on. Until he reached the real world. The real world was a strange place. No kids were eating cake, no one stopped to hear music, and everyone needed nap time. Then he finally saw something familiar. So he followed. He had a good feeling about this place, but he looked everywhere and he could not find his friend. He climbed to the top of a tree and looked out, wishing and hoping his friend would come. But no one came. He thought about how far he had come and how long he'd waited and felt very sad. Then he heard a noise below. Hello! Her face was friendly and familiar, and there was something about her that felt just right. At first, they weren't sure what to do. Neither of them had made a friend before, but after a little while, they realized they were perfect together. Beakle and Alice had many new adventures. They shared their snacks. They told funny jokes. The world began to feel a little less strange. And together, they did the unimaginable. I'm so glad Beekle and Alice found each other. They made great friends, don't you think? I like today's story, The Adventures of Beekle, The Unimaginary Friend by Dan Santat. Well, I hope you have lots of friends in your life and we're your friends. Anytime you wanna read a story with us, be sure and come over to our YouTube channel and subscribe.